Howdy there, YouTube. So, I just want to bring to your attention a few interesting things that I noticed, especially these tremors that have been occurring. Remember the ones at LKWY? Well, that hasn't happened for a while, but they took down all of their monitors. Every single LKWY channel has now offline since, I believe, November 8th, I believe. This is Old Faithful right now. Looks like the ground is really steaming a lot. First off, I want to say I do think it's ridiculous that they took out KWY offline. It was literally the best seismograph because of its detail and its close proximity to the center of Yellowstone Caldera. As you can see, University of Utah, Montana Tech, and USGS have taken down all LKWY channels. Also, as you know, Montana Tech is my favorite seismograph site. I mean, they got the best ones because of the detail, but there was one downside. The fact that you can only see the seismographs for the past two weeks. So I decided to do a little experiment. Up here in the URL, let's click on, for example, let's click on LKWY. So it was the 6th that LKWY went offline, but let's forget about that. This is just for an example. So you see up here how it has a date. So I decided to do a little experiment. Up in the URL, you can see the date in year, 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 month, month, and day, day format. If you input a date correctly that goes farther back than the two weeks they provide on their site, you can still see the past seismographs, which is amazing. For example, let's go to my birthday in 2015, January 7th, 2015. So let's try it. Looks like they don't have one for 2015. Well, let's try my birthday in 2016. There it is. That was more than a year ago. So you can see back. Some of them don't go back more than a year or two, but you can definitely see them. Now on to the very concerning tremors that are taking place in Yellowstone. I do not want to be another person who is screaming harmonic tremor because there's a lot of people online who are doing that when really they don't know how to read the data correctly and usually it's not a harmonic tremor. But I believe this case is a little bit different. But I do have to say this is the most concerning tremor I have ever seen at Yellowstone in the past few years. It is shows on virtually every single seismograph in the MTech network. As you know, University of Utah seismographs are literally not capable of showing most low-frequency events. But that being said, it is possible to see some low-frequency activity if you look hard enough. First off, the definition of a harmonic tremor, according to Wikipedia, is a sustained release of seismic and infrasonic energy, typically associated with the underground movement of magma, the venting of volcanic gases from magma, or both. It is a long duration release of seismic energy with distinct spectral lines. See that? With distinct spectral lines that often precedes or accompanies a volcanic eruption. Now, Wikipedia for some reason does not state that the, the true origin of harmonic tremor and what causes it is not 100% known. There are still hot debates about the topic. Not all scientists agree of its origin. And some scientists believe that harmonic tremor can be caused by multiple things. So I want to point your attention to this right here. See that? That is a type of harmonic tremor. There's a volcanic tectonic earthquake and a long period event. Usually picked up by long period seismographs. So keep this in mind right here. Keep that in mind. Now this tremor, which I'm about to show you, which is the first that I have seen to show on virtually every single MTech monitor in some way, shape, or form from Newport, Washington. I'm not joking. From Newport, Washington to Rapid City, South Dakota. Yes. Which most definitely rules out any surface noise. Also, this cannot be any type of electrical problem because it slowly emerges and has a very specific, very rhythmic waveform pattern. Now, here are the monitoring locations on Google Earth where it showed up the strongest. Now, depending on the microvoltage, some might show stronger than others, even though they're closer to the epicenter. But these are the ones that I see that show up the strongest on the seismographs. So I'm going to guess that maybe the epicenter is somewhere here. Somewhere here. But the fact that it shows from Newport, Washington to South Dakota, it shows that it must be one massive harmonic tremor, if it is harmonic tremor. I can't think of anything else that this could be. And if it's not harmonic tremor, which, you know, it might not be, but I have no idea what the hell this is. It's very odd because I've never seen a tremor show multiple states away. 
Now here I'm going to show you where Newport, Washington and Rapid City, South Dakota are. All right, there's Seattle and here's Yellowstone. This is where Rapid City, South Dakota is. You can see it's kind of close to Yellowstone, closer than Newport is. And here's Newport right here. This is almost 950 miles. Newport seismogram does not show as strong as the South Dakota one, which makes sense because South Dakota is closer to Yellowstone than Newport is. But I find it staggering, apocalyptic, astronomical, that it showed all the way to Newport, Washington, and all the way to Rapid City, South Dakota. I have no idea what could do that. So, here is Red Lodge, Montana, when I first noticed it showed. Now, you notice right here, See the background interference, the microseisms? See that? That's normal. That is everyday normal activity that shows up usually on most graphs. But I noticed as the day kept rolling on, kept rolling on, started getting a little bit, a little bit stronger. But then there is this earthquake right here, and then I noticed right here, something began to change. It seems this tremor began November 11th, 2017, and 1921 UTC. Right after a 4.3 in Almars, Libya, appeared on the seismos. And this is still ongoing. Though, after the 7.3, though, after the 7.3, it seems to have diminished a little bit. See that? This is what I'm worrying about right here. Do you notice something? This says short period vertical. Does that look like broadband to you? It looks like broadband to me, so I thought, you know, it could be a system malfunction or something. Let's go to the broadband station. Red Lodge, Montana broadband vertical. Okay, so it was not broadband because this is the broadband, and it is way stronger than usual. Here's the 7.3. Yeah. We see, it looks like the tremors are calming down a little bit. Here's the previous day for the broadband vertical. Notice how it looks very similar to the short period vertical that I just showed you of these tremors. Very similar, but not quite the same. And here's when it started, right down here. You see that? And just to prove to you guys that this is not some surface interference or electronical problem, we will go to the long period vertical station for Red Lodge, Montana. This specifically is created to show long period tremors. Here's Red Lodge, Montana. See this? It's the same day as this. See that? These are definitely the same and connected. I don't know what they are. They appear to be harmonic tremor because if you go back to this image right here, you see that right there? This is one type of harmonic tremor and what it could possibly look like. Now remember, harmonic tremors can look different, completely different from each volcano. So this is what a harmonic tremor can possibly look like, one of the forms that it can show. Does that look similar to you? Looks similar to me. Now let's go to this. This is Barton Gulch. And you see the activity increasing right there also. This is Black Pine Ridge, which is pretty far away from Yellowstone. It showed increased activity as well, the same type of activity. This is Moose Ponds, Wyoming, and if you saw the other video that I did not too long ago, this had some strange tremors on it as well, not too long ago, but you can tell there are those strange tremors again. But if you go up here, see, nothing. Not much normal background noise, but you go down here, and it picked up around the same exact time. There's the 4.3 in Almarge, and I believe the 7.3 was the next day. Indian Meadows, Wyoming. You could tell something was actually taking place here as well. And again, here's Red Lodge, Montana. See, this is a normal day. This is what it normally looks like. Let's zoom in. Tell me if you see it start to change. See that? And there it goes. Boom. And then we go over to today. And this is it today. Look at that. It looks like a broadband station. The tremors are so strong, it looks like a broadband station. Short period vertical. This is short period, which means, I have to say, this is some type of volcanic tremor. It has to be. 
With the sheer size of Yellowstone, I wouldn't be surprised if harmonic tremor could be felt all the, all the way to Newport, Washington. I would not be surprised. But also here, Six Mile Mountain felt the same thing. Same tremors as today. And there's a 7.3 in Iraq. Same thing here. Mount Humbug. Bah Humbug. And Elliston. You can see the same activity was occurring here as well. Though there's a little bit of background interference. So it's hard to make out. And Black Pine Ridge. Set at 800 microvolts and it still felt it. Look at that. And here's Bozeman. Bozeman didn't pick it up as strong, but it still did. Now let's look at the long period graphs. You can see something was definitely starting to take place. See? Let's go to Missoula. Same thing happening there. You can see those tremors. Definitely some type of long period event. But I'm surprised that it showed up on a short period vertical. I'm very surprised. Because not all long period events can show on a short period vertical. That's why we have these long period vertical stations. Here's Red Lodge, Montana. Long period vertical. Look at how thick those are. So it seems at, like the closer you get to Yellowstone, the stronger these tremors were. This tremor had to have occurred somewhere in the Yellowstone caldera. I'm going to guess, this is not professional, just a personal opinion. I'm going to guess possibly somewhere in northern Yellowstone between Red Lodge, Montana and Hebgen Lake. Remember how this is what a harmonic tremor can look like? You see that right there? See the similarities? I definitely believe this could be some type of harmonic tremor or some type of volcanic tremor. Because the fact that it shows from Newport, Washington to South Dakota shows that it definitely, definitely is something from underground. And the only thing we can think of that's underground that can move like this is magma. So something is definitely going on. Something is definitely occurring. Again, here's Moose Ponds, Wyoming. Look at that. See that right there? Right here? And right there. And this is a short period vertical station. So this is not normal activity. It should never, ever, ever show this, ever. It should never look like this. These are definitely very concerning. But let's show you Newport, Washington's seismograph. See? See this right here? This is the 12th as well. Look at that. And see it's starting to die down now. Once the 7.3 hit in Iraq, for some reason it started to calm down. Now I will show you Rapid City, South Dakota's. It definitely picked it up a little bit stronger because this seismograph is closer to Yellowstone. And that is set at a thousand microvolts. God knows why. This is Madison River. Look at how it shook the caldera. Look at that. But the thing I wanted to show you is remember how University of Utah Science, gosh, they don't show low frequency events very well. But if you look close enough, you might be able to see some. But that's what I did here. Okay, you see these lines right there? See that line right there and the line right there? Do you see that activity right there? These lines. Remember those lines. Those spectral lines. Now we have gone to the previous day. See, where are the lines? I mean, you can see some here and there, but notice down here how the lines get a lot stronger. It is showing the same activity. See that? You see these lines right here. That is showing up on this as well. And this is the day when it started to show. See, remember how I said it started around 1921 or so? This is about the time that it started right here. And you could definitely tell once that started, there was an increase of that certain activity.
You could definitely see. So it showed up on the University of Utah seismogram, which is a big shock. It didn't show up on all of them, but you could definitely see some of them definitely showed the same activity. So something is definitely occurring. Some very, very concerning tremors that have been shown over 500 miles away in Newport, Washington, and almost 400 miles away in Rapid City, South Dakota. And again, this is not surface noise. This cannot be surface noise, and it is not electronic interference. And remember, see how it says EHZ and how this one says SPZ? These are short period vertical stations. So if someone looked at this and said, oh, that's just a broadband station, that's normal activity. If they looked up and it says short period vertical, then that would cause them to scratch their heads and wonder what the hell this could be. Because when we go back to the actual broadband station of Red Lodge, Montana for the 12th, you could definitely see this is what the broadband station looks like with these tremors. Yeah, that's crazy. And let's go to a normal day. Yeah, it's some increased activity here, but this is a normal broadband day. And this is a normal short period vertical day. This is what it should look like with normal background noise. And this is somewhat a normal long period graph. But we jump to today. Boom, big tremors. Boom, big tremors that look like a broadband vertical graph, but really it's short period vertical. So we know that these tremors are definitely concerning because it should not show this. It should not be showing this, but it is. So it's definitely coming from underground. Look at that. So I'm going to say that the epicenter is located somewhere in Yellowstone. I don't know the exact location. But I'm going to say somewhere between Red Lodge, Montana and Hebgen Lake. I'm going to be doing another video in the next couple days for an update on this because the tremors are starting to die down right now. But that doesn't mean that they won't come back. And hopefully, let's pray that they bring back LKWY. Well, thank you for your time. And I believe that is it. God bless.